I'm going to show you my little project which I've used and is I've proven to be working. It's a LoRa to Wi-Fi gateway. Now you can buy gateways. Um, I wanted to build, build my own. Now, I did actually buy a gateway. I haven't got it going yet. I haven't actually tried it to be honest. Just sitting just here. It's got two lower modules in it. It's also got a 4G system and Ethernet and stuff. So I do want to get this going at some point. But um, it might be a bit restricted about what you can actually do. Anyway, um, I wanted to build my own. So here it is. Ignore some of the stuff on the board. That's the Sniff TDI programmer, this section here. That's just me programming the LoRa module. So I can plug the LoRa module in there, plug the USB cable in and program it. Okay, that's what it's for. Ignore that, ignore this. It's just my, you know, my red ball, various projects I'm playing around with stuff. There's left on it. What we've got here is a little 0.96 inch LED display just for convenience so I can see what's going on. ESP32 and lower module. Now you can actually buy modules such as if I want, put this on me, like this TT Go, which has got Wi Fi, OLED display on it, and that sort of stuff. You can actually buy them and it's also got lower on it as well. So this can actually replace most of this. Alright? That might be able to do it too. I haven't played around with this yet. Um, I wanted to do it in something which I was familiar with and get it working that way, but this might end up being what I end up using as one of these things and um, adapting it for this because it has everything on it that I need. As long as I can get it to work, then that'll be good. So we'll see how this goes. Plus, it's also got battery backup possible too. So this could be something else. Well, it's got a couple of possibilities I can use this for. There's three parts of the project. So this is part two of it. So let's have a closer look. Let's plug power in just to prove it actually powers up and does stuff. Go. So also displays working, it's fine on Wi-Fi. First one fails. It's got two Wi-Fi nicks work there works as checks, and that's the second one. So it's ready to go. Now sitting there waiting for data to come in through the law network. So if I had LoRa set up on my other unit there and I gave it a result, it'd send it through LoRa, come through here, dump it through Wi-Fi, upload it to the site. Um, and that would actually work. And I've had it working, I know it works fine. So um, and also it gets the, the, the result from the website. And pass it back through the Wi-Fi, well from the Wi-Fi back through LoRa back to the original originating unit. So whichever unit sends a, a result to this, it will send the result of that query from the website back to the originating unit. So that's two-way communication. It handles acknowledgements from the LoRa system, so each device will check for the other device sending it received it. All right. So if this, if the timely interface sends a message. It waits for this unit to send a reply back saying yes, I got the sick, got the message, and vice versa. So um, it's two way acknowledgements, and that way it makes sure that if there's anything missed or is interference which affects signals, if it doesn't get it for some reason, or it doesn't get told it got it, it will send it again as a fallback system. And then failing that, it will jump onto Wi Fi. So, like the other unit there, the actual time interface one, will jump onto the, onto the um, the Wi-Fi network instead and using LoRa if LoRa fails and for some reason can't communicate or try Wi-Fi as a, as a fallback. Okay, right, so this is the module and this is basically a little Wi-Fi to LoRa module. Because um, this is just a serial interface, so it's pretty simple to implement. And obviously the SP32 has the Wi-Fi built in, so it's pretty easy. Now this is going to get built into a proper module, I expect. Um, this is obviously just my testing setup and figuring out how to get things to work. I've designed this onto a circuit board and I've actually expanded upon it. PCBWay is currently making me a board at no cost and I'll be doing a video on that so make sure you check that out later on. And I've actually expanded upon this so I've still got display, I've still got the ESP32 but I've got two LoRa modules. So it's actually dual channel and you could possibly have three channels. Um, I may, I'm considering doing that but I've got it set up with two. I designed it for two channels. So now I can have this independently controls two independent LoRa transmitters or transceivers and relays messages between both of those and the website. So that's a nice little project. So if you, the only thing is that right now what I've got this designed as, it's a hard coded website, so it's coded it into the code, right? It's written into the code, the actual website address that it uses. There may be a way of like maybe having interface added to this so you can then enter what the website address is certainly possible, could be tedious. Um, 
something I'm going to be playing with is keyboard interfaces, the USB host interfaces. So that's another part of the project, which is like stage three, is to get a keyboard interface working on an Arduino and um, use that to then send data over Laura as well. And if I can get that working nicely, I might be added to this and maybe allow me to actually like, just type web address in instead of um, of having it coded in. It might be a bit more flexible that way. So anyway, kind of interesting. Um, this has been a very long project. This has got about this one's quite simple. This is about 600 lines of code. Um, the website itself, which handles the data and retru returns the result, it's also, you know, probably a thousand lines of code, something like that. maybe a bit less. But, uh, yeah. Not bad little project. This has been keeping me very busy for the past few, three or four weeks. Yeah, about three weeks, I think. So, between this, the timer interface, and the other pieces I have to deal with. Um, it's been a big project. So make sure you subscribe to the bell icon and sort of stuff to see future updates on this. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye. Um, it's got acknowledgements, I can't say it. It's got acknowledgement. Duh. It has acknowledgements. Oh my god. Acknowledgements. It has acknowledgements. Oh wow. Acknowledgements. 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 <laughs> oh my god. I need a drink. <laughs> it has acknowledgements. Ac oh. It handles acknowledgements from the LoRa system, so each device will check for. So there's a board I'm getting made by PCBWay right now. For no, no, um, PCBWay is currently making me a board at no cost.